What's up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scavenger. And uh, well, I want to thank everybody for the previous video for being joined that and see division better quality. It was definitely a great time. It sees a lot of people caring for it and uh, just overall value it. So definitely, I'm definitely uh, waiting for my capture card now. I definitely felt the difference in quality and the viewers. So, thank you everybody for that, and uh, today we're going to get into standard um, settings, so sorry for that. I've been working on thumbnails though, so I hope you guys like this thumbnail more than my previous ones. And, uh, yeah, what to say here? I have a beta team here that I've been trying out, uh, I did try it out throughout Sunday. Uh, this is not the final, but the, the battle here was actually kind of funny. Uh, so we're going against Bryant, a long time follower, and uh, he won an end game. And look at the team here, we got Superior, Lipod, Licky Licky, uh, Seawaddle, Heatmo, and Golurk. It's a pretty tough team actually. Golurk is trouble for me, and it's going to be trouble throughout this battle due to, um, well, how awesome as a Pokemon it really is. And uh, my team is a very slow team with Trick Room support with both Steelix, Avalog, Quilladin, uh, we got Meowstic, Camaroth, and Pangoro. The biggest issue I realized uh, throughout this battle was that I have a huge weakness to both fire and fighting, so um, it is fixed and it's manageable, but as it's still right now, I was just like, oh, how did I not see that? And obviously having a little bit of issue with bug Pokemon. So, yeah, like I said, it's fixed, but it actually worked this battle. Uh, I had to work around my two biggest weaknesses for both Heathmore and Golurk has a way of actually dealing with me rather properly. So, without further ado, guys, let's actually enjoy this battle. So, at the get-go here, I really was thinking that he was going to start off with his live pod, so I actually started off with my uh, Steelix. And, you know, nothing serious about that, I really felt Steelix could wall out a lot of folks. Uh, not Golurk, definitely not Golurk, and I was not feeling safe staying here. So, I'm just going to go into my Quilding, because with Eviolite, it is more than capable of actually dealing with it. No matter, of course, which kind of set it is. But it's going to shoot me Dynamic Punch, and that is... Um, you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but I get confused. That's kind of an issue. So it's going to pull up a Rock Polish here, which is kind of cool, I guess. And uh, I myself is going to be busy hitting myself with confusion. So, yeah, that that is just great. And Shadow Punch will you know, barely do anything. And uh, I will actually pull off a Sword Stance here. And I really felt this was my honest chance of setting up. Uh, so I have Shadow Claw on this thing, but I knew I wanted to actually build up to try and kill it, and I knew with other support stats that I wouldn't be able to pull it off. So I hit myself with Confusion yet again, so three turns of Confusion here. And last turn, finally, let's hit myself with Confusion. So <laughs> I think I never had this Confusion ever, like, for so long. So that was extremely frustrating that it didn't go my way. And uh, the reason I went into my Acryl to my Meowstic is because I am defensively built, so I'm just gonna pull off a Trick Room here because you actually have nothing that is by default slower. So I felt that after this I should just switch in Pangoro. Pangoro can take Shadow Punches for days on days. So you should definitely be able to cope with that. So I know I'm gonna force him out here just by my typing alone, but then he decided to switch out too to his Licky Licky. So that was actually kinda great. Uh, so of course I have the team matchup and just went for a straight for a brain punch route to bat and it does pull off the paralyzation here which is really unfortunate but luckily for me uh, I do pull through and uh, the hex is definitely not in my favor here to get go so I'm gonna expect him to either switch out or you know I still I can just finish it off with a knockoff sadly for him though he paid dearly for that switch because this would annihilate the go look and I knock off the weakness policy so mm, yeah could walk into a trap there so anyway, Lick Lick is in here, the Twisted Room is still inbound, but sadly I am fully paralyzed. So we will go for Knock Off, knocking off my Assault Vest, and uh, the Twisted Dimension has returned to normal. So yeah, I can kind of shot at it to actually get some damage on. So um, my Pangoro still pulling through though, have two pokes in the bag, and is just a champ when it comes to dealing with threatening Pokemon, and honestly. 
So Lee Vanny is here and I gotta expect him to go for a Leaf Blade and I have no, no real attack going here and I know Leaf Blade can take me out. So Alpha Lex should definitely deal with that rather properly because it's so heavily defensive so it's not even funny. So I'm gonna go for an Iron Head here because I have a Life Orb and a Shear Force and this should be more, more than enough to kill it. And that goes for Life Bar too, so I'm sorry for that. It hits like a truck, it really does. So I definitely feel that this is the superior setting for um, a Steelix. Instead of Mega Steelix to actually use the Shear Force ability, it works so much better. So I'm gonna expect a Flamethrower here and I was not entirely convinced that um, I should be slower than the superior and pull up a trick room, but I actually were. I have no speed investment, and of course, it's a negative priority one with trick room, so it definitely is um, cancelled out with the prankster. So, anyway, I got a golden opportunity to bring more over the camera. And uh, yeah, I actually built this uh, camera a little differently. I went for stockpile and swallow actually. And uh, so far, that's been working great because Camrot has such a badass built into it when it comes to defenses. So, stockpile might actually be worth your while. And um, of course, in trick room support, this guy works great. Sadly, my trick room uh, partner did die there, the Meow Six, so he's just gonna pull this off on his own. And uh, he's dealing properly with this superior, he really does. Uh, he definitely was going for the poison there because of my stockpile, so I get that, I really do. Even though Dark Pulse does more damage, 30% on, um, uh, on Sludge Bomb is more than enough to try to pull that off. So anyway, he goes for Giga Drain here, obviously he's not doing enough, and this Earth Power will annihilate him. And uh, his last Pokemon is the Liv... oh yeah, the Livani, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, the, the, yeah, Livani, sorry. And uh, this Leaf play will be close, 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 but Camrod will be the MVP, pulling off the Amazing Flamethrower, annihilating this Grass Bug type, and that is GG basically, so thank you Brian for this battle, I really liked it, and very fast paced really, so a <laughs> very fun time here. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I actually have a few OU battles coming up uh, with the other players that were... Uh, yeah, they were different and uh, fun to showcase. Obviously, I'm not the best OU UU player, so having something from that tier is it, it means something to me because that it means it's kind of serious, if, if not to say the least. But anyway, guys, I really hope I'll be able to pull that off. I have to do a lot of hours at work, and I'm actually recording this at uh, what's o'clock now? It's five five a.m. So I did pre-record this and you know, did some finishing touches, but the recording itself is done now at a pretty early hour. So um, I won't be able to uh, respond to comments and stuff like that. So keep that in mind and uh, hopefully I will be able to comment later on here today. And uh, yeah, <laughs> damn, December has been tough. Still waiting for that capture card too. Really, it's going to make a difference once it comes. So, you know, as always guys, thank you for watching, I hope you like this team, like I said, this is a better team and I have been doing some finishing touches on it and it's gonna work great once it's ready. So, with that in mind guys, thank you as always for watching, don't forget to leave a like and uh, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and remember, the sky is the limit. So, have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.